Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In our previous video, we have studied the theorem based on rational numbers and irrational numbers. Now we will discuss decimal expansion of rational numbers. Can you write the decimal expansion of these rational numbers? To practice this, pause the video to try and then check your answer. Can you tell which method have we used here? Perfect! We have used the division method here. What do you understand by looking at these decimal expansions? You studied in your last class that the decimal expansion of a rational number p upon q, where q is not zero, will either be terminating, like here, the decimal expansion of 33 upon 8 is terminating. Or, non terminating, that is repeating, like here, the decimal expansion of 2 upon 11 is repeated and non terminating. Now, the question is, should we use the same method to find out whether the decimal expansion of a rational number is terminating or non terminating? Or, do we have some other method as well? Let's discuss these decimal numbers to find out. You can see that all these can be expressed as rational numbers in this manner, whose denominator is a power of 10. Now, if we write the numerator and denominator in the form of their prime factors, then we cancel out their common factors. Now, what do you see here? We can see here that all real numbers whose decimal expansion is terminating are written as a rational number in the form of p upon q, where p and q are co-prime. And the denominator that is q has only powers of 2 or powers of 5 or powers of both 2 and 5. This is because the prime factors of 10 are only 2 and 5. So, the powers of 10 will remain in the form of powers of 2 and 5. Based on this, we can say that if x is a rational number whose decimal expansion is terminating, then x can be expressed as p upon q, where p and q are co-prime, and the prime factorization of q is 2 raised to the power n into 5 raised to the power m, where n and m are non-negative integers. Now, if we look at these rational numbers, then can you guess whether their decimal expansion will be terminating or non-terminating? If we solve by division method, we understand that the decimal expansion of the first and second rational numbers is terminating and the decimal expansion of the third and fourth rational numbers is non-terminating. If we take the numerator and denominator of these rational numbers in the form of prime factors, you will see that the denominator of terminating rational numbers can be written as 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m. While the denominator of non-terminating rational numbers cannot be written in this format. Thus, we can say that the inverse of the theorem we just studied is also true, which we can formally write as follows. Suppose x equals p upon q is a rational number such that q is in the form of 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m, where n and m are non negative integers. Then, the decimal expansion of x will be terminating. 
and if q is not in the form of 2 raised to m into 5 raised to m, then the decimal expansion of x will be a non-terminating rational number. In this video, we discuss the decimal expansion of rational numbers. In the next video, we will see examples based on it.